Welcome everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Beholder Beta Demo, demo version We are going into this uh, apartment once again because the uh, Klaus Schimmer's wife is uh, is outside and we're trying to get the the illegal book that they're storing in there so we can evict Klaus Schimmer He's going to the canteen as well Let's steal that just click on color text in the object description. Oh, I forgot to do that. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Didn't even have to steal it. And now I can report him. Let's see if we can talk to him. No, he doesn't want to talk to us. Anyway, thank you so much for turning off your ad blocker as well and watching my ads. It really helps my channel and, uh, and uh, joining my Patreon. So let us write up a report about Klaus Schimmer. Mr. Klaus Schimmer. Living in apartment number one, violated the directive 6040. This one for the books. As of 1st of September. And we have collected evidence there. You will pay. Good. There is a the police. You are under arrest, Klaus Schimmer. <laughs> they just kick in the doors. Yep, oh, she's not happy. Oh, he's writing down stuff. M. And there is Klaus Schimmer. He's looking for him. There he is. Oh, they're crying. That is what you get for breaking state laws. What the hell? He is under arrest. Let's go uh, knock on the doors. There we go. We are successful. Hello. Oh, can't do anything. Ah, we have a new phone call from the ministry. <laughs> ministry of Order. Congratulations. Your task was a success. For assisting in catching a criminal, you're awarded. Oh, very nice. Good job, comrade. Your next task is to put act, uh, agate prop banners in the house. We need to increase patriotism amongst tenants. There is unrest in the city. Stay alert, Comrade Carl. Very well. So I'm assuming we've gotten some... Yes, we've gotten some banners. Eradicate spies and saboteurs. For motherland. For dear leader. And remember, citizen. The state cares. Oh, the state is Agitprop? Glory to Agitprop. Then. So let us, let us put these uh, banners up. Let's put up one here. Put up one here. And put up one there. Good. There we go. Very good. So patriotism will be increased. Hopefully. It is all numbers to us. We don't care. So I wonder what happens if you're benevolent to these people, you know? And and break the rules actually. She is a quest. Let's see what she has to say. Let's also talk to this guy. Actually, we don't have anything to sell, so never mind it. Or maybe... No. Uh, hello. I don't know what happened. They just arrived and arrested Klaus. They beat him. Luggage bags. We've packed everything. Is there anything I can do for you? You've done so much for us. Maria, I don't know what to say. Do you have some other place to stay? I don't know. Klaus is my only close friend. How to live without him? Time is a healer. I'm sure he will be released in two years. Everything will be fine. I'm sure he'll be jailed for life or, sh or shot. <laughs> yeah, he'll be released in two years. I hope so. Anyway, I'll wait for the court and then make my decision. I won't stay in this house any longer. 
They were beating him. I saw that with my own eyes. I understand. You'd better leave. So as you can see, you can, you know, you can be nasty to them like this. You know, uphold the state laws and then pretend that nothing happened. You're just innocent bystander. And, um, you know, it, it just kind of feels horrible when you're doing this. They gave me a saucepan, the books, and now I'm just nasty to them all. What, Carl? Anything happened? Martha is sick, Carl. We have no medicine at home. Can you find aspirin for our girl? I've been waiting in line for age, only to find out that a prescription is needed. Of course I'll find him. Anything serious about Martha? No, it's just a fever heat. I don't like how she feels. Klaus Schimmer was arrested, Carl. Do you know what happened? I turned him in. He broke the law. It's not your business. Anna, uh, the Ministry of Order knows better who's guilty. Hmm. I turned him in. They're so nice. How can you be so hard-hearted? Anna, do you want me to risk our family for the sake of Shimmers? End of the story. Yeah, see, I'm guessing that, you know, in the full game, you can disclose this stuff, or maybe they will find out about it, that, you know, you're not really a nice guy because you're turning people in like that for the smallest things, and maybe the family start, starts hating you. Let's see if this guy has... He has aspirin, doesn't he? Let's go talk to him. My compliments! What do you sell today? Take a look! There's the aspirin. It's 465. That's not too bad. A bottle with pills. The label says it's aspirin. Let's buy some. Uh, nothing else. Quite expensive. Oh, only 75 for chocolate bars. He's, he's a lot. Let's buy some. Why not? Okay, let's go give the aspirin to Martha. He's smoking. What, Carl? How is Martha? Have you found an aspirin, Carl? Martha got worse. Yes, take this. I hope this is just flu. Everyone feels sick these days. Thank you. I think she'll feel better for the next two days. Oh, good. Right characteristics about Mark, uh, Mark Rannick and Rosa Rannick. Do we have some profiles on them? We do on her. And we have on Mark. I could still find out more, I guess, about by searching their apartment fully. Let's see. Is there anyone here? Let's double check. Oh, our son has a... Uh... Let's go talk to our son. Oh, she's leaving. Hello, son. No, I want to talk to my son. Oh, I guess I can't. Let's go uh, up there then. Wait a second, what is he doing? Making a bomb? He's making something. What the hell was that? And even though it was under the camera, I couldn't seem to do anything about it. That was weird. Do they have books? Complex recipes for a chef. A sharp razor. Yeah, we'll get more characteristics about them, I'm sure. Check the phone. Oh, there she is. And they're looking at the posters. Guidance about growing potted plants in garden, flowers, eyeglasses, watch and ball of yarn. Let's put a camera up here. I don't have any cameras, let's buy some then. The big ones. Put one over here. The big one. Excellent. And check these things. Another fishing rod. Let's uh, put a smaller camera over here. And a bigger camera over here. Oh, that's a big camera. Okay. That's pretty good. This entire room is fully surveyed. I like it. Nothing in the wardrobe. And nothing in the bed, I'm assuming. Passport. All citizens must have a passport. Book, old sweater and towel. Well, there's a chair, but... 
I don't really know if there would be anything on that on that chair. Oh, there will be. Received letter, toothbrush, and book. Good, I think we're done here. Have I checked this yet? I think I have. Do I have any more? Oh no, I have I could have one more. One small one. Put it up here. Good. Let's get out of here. Now let's go write those uh characterizations about them. Oh wait, he has a he has a quest now again. Our son. Let's see what he wants. Yes, father. Date. I need to talk to you, father. What happened? I met a nice girl and want to ask her out. In a couple of days, there will be the first night in the light of hope. Actors from the capital arrive too. Wait, who is that girl? Olika Gorchik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes theaters. I've heard to... Uh, to wanted to go to the first night. It's my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? 550. This is big money. <laughs> Let's give money. Theater is a nice thing, son. Here's the money. Thanks, father. You're the best. Oh. <laughs> give 20 for flowers. Take some change for a bouquet. Don't forget to wash yourself before the date. One shouldn't go to a theater with a dirty neck. Got it? Don't tell mom or she will pour an entire bottle of cologne on me. You know her. Oh, that was nice. Let's go write those characterizations. He's happy now. Okay. So what do we have here? Uh, characterize a person. So Mark Rannick first. Oh yeah, this is empty, of course. There's Mark Rannick. Living in apartment number three, is it? Uh, oops. Yes, apartment number three. Male, marital status, married to Rosa Rannick. Occupation, employee of the archive. Archive employee. All we know, he's fishing. Nothing much else. And let's characterize Marta Rannick. Rosa Rannick, sorry. She's female, married to Mark Rennick. Occupation. What's her occupation? She is a sweet old? No, she's a canteen cook. And we know quite a bit about her. There. Excellent. Nice. We got a reward for that. What, Carl? Martha feels worse, Carl. Aspirin doesn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor. Don't you want to pay a visit to a doctor with Martha? We've visited her doctor already. He said take aspirin and clean her nose with a dish soap. <laughs> with soap, Carl? How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for a daughter. Very well. Oh yeah, we have this empty... Uh... Oh, only 500. That's fine. We'll do that. And here, get some new tenants. He looks angry. There. We'll see what happens when he arrives. Martha's, Martha's doctor. We've got 50 hours for that. So what's he doing? Ooh. What's going on here? What the hell? Everyone's coming out. What's going on? Bloody hell! What the hell's going on? Riots or something. Or maybe terrorists. Actually, these are people running away. Look at them, they're all scared. What the hell happened? And everything is... Broken now? Whoa! Pick up the phone. What the hell? Ministry of Order. Unrest in the city. Dangerous to go outside. Stay calm and repair broken things in the house. You have two days. What? Why would I only have two days to repair everything? Well, let's repair that then. How do I repair these things? With oh no! Congratulations! You've completed the beta version of the game. Find the rest of the story in the full version. Thank you for playing Beholder. 
What a wonderful game. Okay, I'll drop the accent. <laughs> what an awesome game. This, it's so cute in a way, but also so sombering and, you know, depressing. Dystopian. And it's awesome how you can play either, you know, just like in Papers, Please, either the fully by the book guy, you know, cold hearted. You can, you can, uh, you can be a blackmailer. You can uh, pretend like, you know, I don't know, like I did here. I'm cold hearted, you know, report everything, but then pretend like, no, I didn't do that. I'm, I'm just a bystander. And also have to take care of your family and such. This is going to be so cool. I love what they're doing with the game. Just needs a little bit of proofreading, but that's it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, yeah, please like, share and subscribe. And check out my Patreon. And I'll see you in the next preview slash let's play. Because this was sort of a preview let's play. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.